I'm gonna make a video today on trailing stop losses. This is how I manage my portfolio. Um, if you wanna make yourself feel good, the green days, you gotta enjoy the green days. I mean, when you're all in pretty much and your portfolio is just printing money, sit back and just enjoy the show, you know? Um, it feels really good when you when you get a day like this, you know, and you're making some good money on your portfolio, um, you, you got to enjoy it, you know. You got to enjoy the wins. If you don't celebrate the wins, the losses will eventually just eat up your confidence and, and you'll eventually just be out of the game. So it's very important to celebrate the wins. So I have learned that. I learned that from my mentor, Larry Williams. Um, uh, but I'm almost through reading his, his son's book, uh, Jason Williams, on that um, uh, on his psychology book. Um, I forget the title of it. <laughs> I already forgot. Anyway, uh, you want to look it up. Just uh, it's, I think it's called the. Uh, the psychology of, of trading or something like that. I think it is. Um, so what I do to manage my portfolio, and I learned this from Larry, and I always struggled with this. I never knew where to put my stop loss, you know. Um, he says, ideally, you want to use either this 18-day moving average, which is this light blue line, my, my cyan blue line. I'm going to turn the turn the other ones off so you can see it more clearly but so as long as your price action is closing above this 18 day moving average simple that's a simple moving average sma they abbreviate that um so i think i showed you how to add that but you just go to indicators type in sma i think or moving average simple that's what they actually call it i've got it favorited you add that to your chart list <clears throat> and uh, hit your little drop down arrow and it should show up as a brand new one. And then you, you can set your settings, uh, whatever color you want to make it, um, you know, and then, and then do your inputs. I set them on a four. I use a four moving average. I use an 18 and I use a nine. Okay, so those, I think that's a pretty... You know, for a short-term swing trader, that's I, I think those are pretty good moving averages to follow. A lot of people use a 21, uh, especially daily, a 21-day moving average on crypto. <clears throat> so I think setting it on an 18 might get you out ahead of the crowd uh, once it reverses, you know, at least. Um, you know, you can see last time, Ideally, you might might even use a nine. You know, if if you if you close below a nine moving average, uh, but by Larry's rules, if you close two days below the eighteen moving average on a daily chart, that's usually a good time to get out. And sure enough, it was here. It rallied two days. It head faked you, and then it just shot right back down. But so at least, you know, what you would have got out here on, on January 19th, it would have saved you some profit. But I think you're better off using this TD sequential. If you use the number count system and if you can time it anywhere on a weekly basis, I think uh, I would start dollar cost averaging out maybe on a seven eight nine bar on a weekly chart i think that's a better way to take profits i you know sell sell some uh, you know now this was uh, barely getting started but you know if you if you would have sold you know even 20 percent you know you could sell uh you know you could sell 20 to 25 percent on 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 the seven eight nine you know at the end of the week just sunday or monday you know, sell 25% here, sell 25% here, sell 25% here. You're out 75% on the 
you can't lose unless you go below where you bought it on your on your twenty on your remaining twenty five percent. So I think that's a smart strategy. That's that you know that's what the hedge funds do. That's what the commercial money does. Um, they have to do it for a reason. I mean, there's there's, there's got to be a reason why they do it. So. But you can see, I mean, once it gets to a seven, eight, nine, most of the time you're 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 getting pretty close to the to the end of the rally. Um, man, I don't have injective on here. What am I doing? Why do I not have injective? Uh, well, you can see injective was a little trickier. You know, I mean, it hits your seven, eight, nine here, and I took profits here, but then it went on up and completed your thirteen count. So, you know, I, I struggle with this. Like they say, you're never going to go broke taking profits, but you may never knock it out of the park either. You know, have a grand slam home run. So I don't know. You could, you know, I think it's not a bad idea to be out, take 50% profits somewhere in this 789 zone on a weekly chart and then maybe let the other half ride or at least 25 percent you know run on up for your your 13. Uh, I think you know once you lose your four week moving average um, now injective let's see you lost it right here it closed below it right here but you regained it on the very next bar same thing, you know, it's it's above it right now, but, you know, what's it going to do, you know, the next few days, you know, I mean, how's it going to close until Sunday? Right now, your four moving averages below your nine, and technically that's that's bearish until until that reverses and comes back up. Ideally, I'd like to see it at least break out of this trend line. I can't believe Injective's not booming. It may have ran too much too fast, and it's just kind of digesting this this move. Um, it's kind of range bound, looks like. Uh, if, if, if you lose this 30.31 <clears throat> support, you know, you, you could easily retest. Um, at least some kind of Fibonacci level. I don't know. I mean, the 382 is right there. 30.58. You could test this this 26 zone. You could test 21, 21 and a half. I doubt it's going to come down to 15. I mean, it could, but that would take a major sell-off in Bitcoin, Ethereum, the stock market. The dollar would have to be exploding to the upside um i don't know I, I, I have a hard time believing you're going to get much much below this this 382 fibonacci level so anyway i'm kind of dragging on but it's just just an example you never really know exactly when it's topped out so I don't think it's a bad idea to take a little profit. Now, I, I shouldn't have sold all of it right here. I did. I sold 100% of my portfolio, uh, and I took profit, but and I missed, I think, a 95% gain uh, in about four weeks. If I, if I would have held that another four weeks, I think. Let's see. Uh, let's just go from here to there. 156, well, let's go to the six bar, 159% in six weeks. If I would have held it another six weeks, that's almost 160% more money. Oh, man. Wait, that, that's the thing. You just never know. I mean, you know, you can't beat yourself up. The, the shoulda, woulda, coulda game will drive you insane, especially with crypto. Uh, and it will with stocks too. You I mean it, it's literally, you know, all you, all you got to do is all you can do is tell yourself, "Hey, I made the decision with the information I had at the time." Uh, now, when it broke out, I should have rebought it. 
you know, I mean, once it breaks out above this seven bar, uh, and it retested right here perfect on this two bar. So it broke out, and then the very next week it retested it. If you'd have had a bid in at 1905, maybe 1907, round up a little, the low was 1899. All right, so, you, yeah, you would have missed it a little bit. Um, yeah, you would have had to round up. Is that right? No, it went, it went below that. If you had 19, they went to 18. It went to 19, pretty much. Yeah, okay, you'd have got it. You'd have got your 1905, 07. Yeah, you would have bought it right back. Ride this thing out. Um, pretty much, you know, at least to your, if you have the elder bar system, you know, when your candlesticks start turning yellow, that's a cautionary flag. That's, that's saying, hey, you're running out of momentum. You can see, you know, your stochastic had already crossed over here. So your momentum's telling you you've lost momentum. Now, you know, you're just going sideways in a, in a bull flag right now. It's reset on the bottom. This is about to take off, most likely, on injective. This, this is a good signal right here. It went down to like a four or five. You're below your 20 line on both of your you know your white and your red line are both below 20 and now it's curving back up on a weekly chart that's a pretty good buy signal your williams has already started up um now your your histogram still tracing to the downside but uh that could reverse at any time on your on your qqe um I would assume injected probably breaks out of this trend line. If everything else is booming like it is, uh, I have a hard time believing injective's not going to participate because it's, I mean, this is one of the hottest crypto coins on the planet on the last cycle. Um, so I, I think it's, it's due for a rally. Now, you did rally up here. You're, you're, you're overbought daily you know short term it could pull back a little might retest this 30.31 i doubt it but uh it might um see on a day chart you broke out briefly but you're not holding it so you need to hold above this downward trend line right here um i've got way off of my uh <clears throat> video <laughs> course material but uh anyway so let's get back on the uh the trailing stop loss which is going to be the title of this video probably how to how to manage your trailing stop loss uh so my mentor larry williams says use a three-day trailing stop loss or at least an 18 simple moving average on a daily chart um so for me, I'm not willing to give up profits to the 18 day. There's no way I'm giving up that kind of profit. So ideally, you want to just count three days back. So here's your current candlestick or your day. You just count three days back. One, two, three. And if that's your low point, if that's your lowest low of three days, then that's where you put your stop loss right there. Technically, I should have alerts on all these. Um, kind of breaking my own rules but stop out create so you throw your stop loss on there ideally if your broker allowed it i should probably have a, a an actual stop loss set you know with, with my broker um the problem with crypto and they do this on stocks too, but the market makers play games a lot and they'll whip you out of a trade. They'll whip the price action down just to steal your shares or your coins and then you're out of the trade, you know? And, and so at this point, uh, I'm not even above my entry. You know, I paid pretty high price. I should have at least tried to get a four day moving average 
on my entry. I didn't. I chased the price. I know better than to do that, but I did it anyway. <clears throat> um, I just, you know, I just wanted in. I just got tired of, you know, trying to time a four four hour pullback. It wasn't it wasn't hitting my Fibonacci. Um, so I just I just just bought it, you know. I I just sucked it up and dove in and uh, probably paid too much, you know. But I mean, it did it. It pulled back to a point five right here. Finally, you know. I mean, it it wasn't doing it here. I, I don't remember what day I bought it. Probably right here. Probably bought this three bar on Monday. Um, can't remember exactly when I bought it, but anyway, this this is my entry price. So it is what it is. You know, I either paid too much or I mean, now it's on a it's on a re. You've already reset your four hour. If you look at your stochastic, see it's reset down here on the bottom. That's what I say when it reset. Uh, so your momentum's reset. Now it's started back up on, a, on another plus count to the upside. You're back on your green elder bars. Uh, this should continue to the upside, ideally. I mean, there's no guarantee. This is a pretty hot coin, too. Um, you know, on a weekly chart, you're only on a two count going up now three bar could retrace or three bar could be a little challenging next week you just never know um <clears throat> i'm still struggling with are we going to get a nine count out of this or are we only going to get four weeks uh rally that's that i'm struggling with that i'm tempted to take profit uh, on week four because um, my mentor's forecast says that we're only going to get a four-week route out of this. It doesn't make sense to me why crypto would sell off in March right before the halving event in April. Because Bitcoin's scheduled for the halving event on April 13th. So, that doesn't make sense to me, but I don't know. I guess I'll just watch it on a chart. If I lose the 18-day on any any of this stuff, I, I would definitely cut it. I mean, if I'm in profit, you know, I mean, I'm going to let it run its cycle. It's going to hit a 9, could go to a 13. And retrace it's not it's not going to go straight up you know it usually goes up and zigzag and go back up zigzag and you know it makes its little lightning bolt pattern usually but um so that's what i do I, I just move my stop loss up every day if i have a higher low like you know after today then your six bar will be your your next low so i'll just drag that up uh you just left click it on your mouse drag it up if you have your magnet on it'll automatically go to your low point um, I always always leave that on strong usually <clears throat> that's what I do so and if you want to you want to set an alert on it um, you can I don't actually have a hard stop loss on any of these just because I'm planning on holding them for at least a four week run so I don't want to take a chance of getting whipped out of the trade. Uh, like on like on Rollbit, where's Rollbit at? Uh, RLB. You can see yesterday it had a bad wick down right here. So it wicked all the way down to where I would have been stopped out if I'd have had a, a hard stop on it. It would have stopped me out, and then now look where the price is. It's right back up back in the reality zone you know so it's that's the kind of games they play a lot of time you know so but technically as long as it's above this angled trend line you're still in an uptrend on a weekly uptrend so you know if it, it needs to close above that this week now this this thing's Starting to concern me a little because it did top out here and then now it's made a lower low. Technically, that's a lower low. 
even, even lower than this low, just a smidge, but it did go lower. That concerns me a little. Um, <clears throat> you went to an eight, you got two bar rally weekly, and then now it's rolled over, it's rolled back over. So I hope we don't continue down nine more weeks of this on the roll bit, because that's, that's going to be pretty painful to sit on it. But it is what it is. I mean, it either does or it don't, I guess. I mean, <clears throat> from what I understand, it's a pretty, pretty good uh, coin to hold. Um, I guess they're, they're making money. It's, a, it's like a casino based on crypto, I guess. I've never, never played it, never, never messed with their website. But so that's what I do. I, I've just been moving my stop losses up. You know, I'm in bonk. Um, back, back uh, in the profit zone today. Uh, hopefully this continues to the upside. Well, that's actually a weekly. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that's, that's looking pretty decent. Now everything's getting deep in the daily count. So, I mean, you could go on your nine bar, you could retrace on the nine bar, could go to a 13, hopefully, hopefully we get, you know, at least three to four weeks rally out of this. I'm hoping. <clears throat> now everything's, most everything's breaking out of a downly weekly trend line. So ideally you want to at least hold that. Um, you want to watch your stop losses. You know, I would, I would keep that three-day trailing stop. Um, see, this one, I had to use the lowest low point. So by Larry's rules, he said if, if you're three-day, he calls this an inside bar. So see, right here, this is day one, day two, this is day three. So this isn't a low, a low point. Ideally, you'd want five bar to be lower than six. If that was the case, I would I would have moved my stop loss on this bar. But since this isn't my lowest low point, I got to go until I find a lower low than your six bar. So the three bar is your lower low point. So technically, I'm using a one, two, three, four, five day trailing stop on bonk because this six bar had a, a tail and I could move it up. Now as of tomorrow, then I can count one, two, three, my six bar will become my lowest low point. So, I mean, you might as well move it up. <clears throat> you know, if you, if you hit that, I would keep a tight stop on, uh, on bonk because it's extremely volatile. volatile. Stopped out, hit the inner bar, and I got an alert on it. Um, you know, just keep an eye on them. Ideally, you could even set your stop loss at your entry, but you know, usually you have to give it some time to run to, to prove yourself right. Um, you know, it could take it could take two or three days, a week. Uh, maybe two weeks, maybe even three weeks. I don't know. Uh, just depending on how hot, you know, the smaller the smaller coins get. Um, you know, there's no guarantee on any of this. I mean, uh, GFAL, I don't know where, yeah, I had to go way over here. This is one, two. See, I didn't have a lower low, so I had to go way back over here. That's like, I don't know how many days. It was like 10 days or something. Uh, yeah, at least. That's a 22 bar <laughs> stop loss. Uh, but that's, per the rules, that's what you have to do. Um, you know, so it's going to take another day or two before I can move it up even to this one. Um, I gotta wait till after tomorrow. Let's see what's tomorrow? Wednesday, Thursday. What is today? Uh, today's Wednesday, so tomorrow will be Thursday. So by Friday, I can move it up to this point. 
and then Saturday I can move it up to this point. Um, you know, I mean, you could do it. I mean, that's that's a micro. You know, it's not that big a deal. I might as well just move it because I mean, you know, who cares? <laughs> you know, it's like a it's like a micro penny. You know, it's not that big a deal. Um, and I'm, I'm going on a vacation this weekend anyway, so I'm, it's easier to do it on a, on a laptop. But I don't I don't like traveling with a laptop. I'm afraid it might get stolen or whatever at the airport because we're probably going to check our bags. But so ILV, this has been a really good one. Um, you know, nailed it right here. Had your two days above the 18 moving average, bought in, boom. I mean, just exploded. I uh, couldn't have timed that better if I was Nostradamus, you know. I mean, that's uh, – but there again, you know, you got to do your, your trailing stop. And if it hits it, you, you got to be – you know, you got to honor your stop to yourself and just take the profit, you know. You got to stop yourself out. It's going to be hard to sell, uh, especially after making this kind of profit in a short amount of time. Uh, you know, I think I bought in on day three. I made 31% in like six days. You know, I mean, that's that's a, that's, a, that's awesome returns. <laughs> I mean, if you, can, if you can track that and document it and show Goldman Sachs your returns, you could probably get a job on Wall Street uh, they probably be knocking down your door trying to get you to manage, you know, half a million dollars. And get a drink of coffee right quick. Got to have at least three cups of coffee to get right with the world, you know. <laughs> three cups of coffee and a, and a monster. Uh, so anyway, like I say, you're, you're, you broke out of this trend line. You know, I don't know why I deleted my, my trend line, but technically that, that's your downtrend. You've broken above this. You've held it for two weeks, as long as it doesn't break down below it next week. Um, you know, I'm just going to keep moving my trailing stop up. And as long as you're above a three-day trailing stop, just, just let it ride, you know. Um, you know, I think at least – your nine day uh, on a daily, you could use your nine day simple moving average as as an alert. You know, if you don't want to give up that much profit, which I I don't um, on any given time frame, but um, you know this this coin's been pretty hot here lately. It's definitely heated up, uh, but it's set up perfect. I mean, eh, not perfect. You didn't get your nine. That's the only thing that concerns me about this one is it did not print the nine bar, I don't think. Let me check on my actual, uh, let me check on uh, the actual TD Sequential website. And no, I don't think you did. If you would have, it would have printed this nine. So I don't think it did. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that would have been a one, two, three, four, five, eight, seven, eight. I don't know. Maybe it did. Like, usually, it if it if it completes the nine count, especially a perfection, um, it, it it'll leave it printed on your chart like it did here. Um, it's a sequential buy setup nine is what they call it. Uh, I don't think you got it on this one. So that does concern me a little bit. A lot of times by the, by the TD sequential rules, if you don't complete your nine count, you could retrace four bars. You could rally four bars. So four. This in this case, it'd be four weeks, at least one to four bars. Uh, and then a lot of times you continue to the downside until you complete 
your nine count, uh, like it did over here back in uh, April of last year. Could be a little seasonality to this one. Uh, this one was in October, um, which most crypto does pretty good, October, November, December. I've noticed there's a seasonality to it. Um, I'll probably watch these wheel stops. If you have access to the Larry Williams indicators, uh, you can throw this. It's called a wheel stop. Williams wheel stop. Uh, you throw that on your chart, come over here to your star, scroll all the way down. If you have it, if you have access to the Williams, um, right here, we'll stop. You click that one time, it'll add it to your chart. And I think by default, it's like a brown or orange color. I always change it to yellow just so it stands out better on my chart. I've also got my trailing line over here yellow so that can be that can get a little confusing but uh, usually it puts your price action over here uh, there it is right there 8904 is the is the will stop daily price you want to go on a daily uh, stop out so but we are on a nine cell perfection right now uh, now you did get above your cloud and your trailing line is closing above the cloud also. So that's really bullish. So you could get a day 10 test back here to your cloud and then rally up, continue out to a 13 count for, I mean, you know. I would anticipate at least a, a four week rally. Um, I'm anticipating at least that. Um, you're above your weekly on your price action now your trailing line is still in the cloud so but that's going to take a while for it to get out you know i mean it's going to have to you know we could go up four weeks we could go up nine weeks we could test you know at least this previous high um 123 zone you know there's there's definitely some resistance around 116 there's some more around 98 you're above the 98 now. If you can close above that, you should test this 116 next. 116.80 on ILV. Um, like I say, I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to watch. I can't chart everything that I'm in. Um, Ajax set up pretty good. You didn't get... You got your wheel valve reset. It did do that. On a weekly, I don't think you got a, uh, I don't think you got, where's Ajax at? I don't even have Ajax on my bid list anymore. What's the deal, bro? Ajax, USDT. Uh, let's see what it did on a weekly. Yeah, it only went back to a four. A minus four, pull back. Probably a pretty good Fibonacci. Uh, yeah, probably throw it right there. That's a pretty good trend line. You know, decent 45 or whatever degree trend line. Um, if it's too steep, that's a lot of times you're you're not going to hold that. You're not going to sustain that. That steep of a uh, a sell-off for very long but you can throw your Fibonacci retrace on it and see where it went you can get those there uh yeah you almost yeah you did get your 618 right here you hit your 618 level on a weekly that's pretty good that's that's a nice nice little discount um what percent discount is that let me see we go from there to there it's a 35 percent discount it's not bad you know um so yeah i would i would anticipate this it's on week three already so maybe one more week on ajix um i delete these trend lines because i don't think you're gonna get that price action 
anymore. We had it. If I'd have had a Fibonacci on it, I didn't have an alert, evidently. I don't know why. Uh, that's a resistance line right there. Um, you can see this one went perfect on a weekly. Went up to a 9, 10 bar, cooled off a little. And I actually sold off. And then 10 bar rallied. Bar 11, it ran out of steam. Uh, went down 4%. And then sold off pretty good on, on your... That'd be what I call 10, 11, 12 bar. You lost almost 20% in a week. On uh, you know, Once it turns yellow, that's telling you that this could happen. You know, your red bars are usually next. It's just like a street light. By default, this is going to be blue, I think. So I change it like a street light. So I change the blue to yellow. And that's, that's your cautionary flag right there saying, hey, you're running out of momentum. You're running out of steam here. Usually red is next. And when you get the red, <laughs> you see what happens when it turns red. So, uh, you know, your momentum indicator was telling you over here too. Your stochastic had already crossed over. So when your white line, I mean, it was up to 100. When your white line crosses below your red, especially on a weekly basis, that's – that's usually a bad signal. That's telling you momentum is headed to the downside. And usually that's what, usually this follows it. Your red price action usually follows pretty quickly after that happens. Uh, you know, you close below your four week moving average right here on this bar. That, that was a get out signal. Worked perfect, got you out before this 20% drop. Uh, ideally, I like to use that. Uh, a weekly close below a four-week moving average is that's usually a decent, especially after a nine. You got to take that. I mean, that's you're turning yellow on your elder system. If you're watching, you know, your any kind of momentum indicator with it, that's telling you you you, you run out of buyers, and usually when you when there's not enough, when there's more sellers than there are buyers, price action will come down. It has to. It's it's just basic mathematics. That's why price goes up and down. Is um, it goes up when you have more buyers than sellers, and it goes down when you have more sellers than than buyers. Um, so so that's what I pretty much do. That's what I'm doing with my with my portfolio. That's how I'm managing it. This time, I'm going to test this, you know, three-day trailing stop out as well as, as watching my, my weekly uh, indicators. Um, <coughs> like I said, I don't know. If you, if you want to hold it, like, like I'm going to try to hold most things at least three to four weeks on this, on this rally, right? So... Ideally, I think watch this four-week moving average. You, you throw you throw a, a four, throw a, throw a simple uh, moving average on it. Change this on your settings to a four. Right here on the length, you change that to a four. By default, it'll be a nine. I don't know what that's doing. Uh, and then, you know, make it whatever color you want. I make mine yellow just so it stands out really good. Um, and it's going to be on your chart. By TD sequential rules, once you close below that four moving average, ideally then you've, you've, you've lost your momentum and you're probably headed to the downside. So you'll watch this on crypto. That would be on a Sunday at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. If price action is below this yellow line, on a Sunday at six o'clock, you probably want to get out. Now you could wait for two weeks, but on crypto, you just saw you can lose a lot of money in a week. I mean, you can lose 20% in a week. You can lose 20% in a day. I mean, 
you see some of these moving to the upside today, uh, you know, 17% on Miria today. But, I mean, that's awesome. We're having a, having a really good week. 20, it's up 20, almost 27% this week. But you can turn right around and give that right back to them the very next day or very next week. I mean, you just, you just never know. Um, so you just got to keep a, a real close eye on it because you don't want to give I, – I hate giving up profits. That's my biggest <laughs> – that's my biggest problem is I've seen too many winners turn into losers, yeah, especially with crypto. Um, you just you got to keep a tight eye, a tight stop loss, I think, and a real close eye. You don't want to turn your back on this and just, I mean, you could. You could buy, I mean, you know, if, if you're managing 100 bucks. And you don't care whether you lose it or not. Yeah, just buy in and, and plan on holding it for two years and see what you make out of it. You know, that's no big deal. But when you're managing fifty, sixty thousand dollars, $60,000, you better be managing your money or somebody else is going to manage it for you in their account. Most likely the market maker that's betting against you is going to take your money. So I'm, I'm watching it. I'm watching it like a hawk. You know, I'm not going to give that profit back this time i'm not doing it if we just have a little short-term rally which i think we're going to now after the having event i could definitely see in april you know after the having event that's the end of your catalyst that could be a sell the news event i could definitely see that um my mentor may have missed it you know by about a month uh on the top so who knows i mean it and, you know, we'll just watch and see what the big money's doing. Um, you know, for now, uh, you go to the CME report. Um, you look at Bitcoin weekly. Uh, they did sell off a little bit last week right here. Uh, now, you haven't got below this this 74 line if you, if you get below that 74 line like it did right here that's a problem so just keep that in mind it looks like everything's continuing to the upside now you are getting overvalued compared to gold again so you got to be careful on that but that could stay above there for another nine weeks i mean you know at least seven weeks seven more weeks after this one uh, according to this so that's kind of what i'm thinking uh, I, we could get a little four week rally four or five week rally out of this i'm thinking hopefully we can get till at least april the week of april 13th let's see uh Coming up, that'll be a Wednesday, uh, April 13th. Oh, that's March. Is that March? That's March. Uh, yeah, that'll be a Saturday. Ooh, nice. Having day right here. I got an alert on it. Um, so, you know, you might even start watching it a week early. I'd watch it real close the week before. And anywhere two or three days leading up to it, uh, if you get any major big red days with with big volume, uh, sometimes that's that's a that's a sell. You know, like here over here, you know, you got a big big event. <clears throat> you see a big red candle like that, red red volume candle. That's telling you that big money is selling. Right here. And sure enough, it did. I mean, it went down 6.5% that day. That was on a stock. That's on OHI, OHI stock that pays 9% dividend. That's telling you this is coming. You see your, your big red candle like that, and then you see what happens next. It drops significantly. Uh, I don't know what that thing dropped, but uh, we went from the rally point to the low. That's a 14% drop on a stock. So you can imagine what crypto would do. 
Uh, you, look, you look at one like Bonk, a meme coin, I mean, you can literally lose 20, 30% in a day. There's 13% in a day. Here's a big red day right here. Uh, big red candle on on, <clears throat> on your volume. Uh, you see it wicked up. That's a huge doji. That's a topping tail doji or upside down hammer, whatever you want to call it, kangaroo tail, upside down gravestone doji, whatever they call them. But um, you know, you, you you close near the low of the day. That's that's a massive sell signal. Sure enough, it was. Boom! I mean, straight to the downside for quite a while. I mean, that was. I mean, that's not a huge dump, but I mean, from the top, if you bought the top, that's that's a pretty sizable move. I mean, you, you lost seventy-two percent on your money. Right there is seventy-three percent. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. That's gonna sting a little bit. Um. You know, so that's why I'm keeping a really tight stop loss on this because I know this one can get really volatile. I mean, you, you can lose a lot of money quick on this thing. There's a 14% move in a day. There's 13% in a day. There's 13, 10. I mean, that wasn't bad. This one, 13%. There's another 14.5% red day. I mean, it can get expensive pretty quick on this one if you're not watching it close. <clears throat> and that's most of them. Most, you know, these small coins, unless you're in Bitcoin or Ethereum, you know you're subject to at least a 10% drawdown, 15% on, on, our, on your average day. You know, if it's... Um, so you just kind of get acclimated to that and you know just do the best you can with what you got hopefully you know put it on a weekly chart and uh buy the ticket take the ride that's all i know to do <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what i'm gonna watch mainly i'm gonna watch my four week moving average uh for the most part yeah, ideally, I'd love for it to, you know, stay above, you know, at least above my entry price. I really want to get my stop loss, my trailing stop loss. Eventually, I'd like to get, you know, that above my my entry price. Um, you know, like this one, you know, uh, man, I'm underwater a little bit on beam because I chased the price. Bonk, g foul. Underwater on G foul. Alluvium was a good trade. That one, that one did perfect. Uh, I mean, I mean, good profit on alluvium. Watching my, watching my trailing stop. Watching at least my nine-day moving average. Uh, I'm gonna watch that on a weekly basis. You know, your four is crossing up. Your 18. If it get above your nine week, that's that's really bullish. Uh, on a weekly basis. Yeah, you want that to continue to the upside. Yeah, you definitely want to watch your trend lines uh, of support. Um, closes below that. I mean, ideally, if it, it, you know, if I lose my stop loss, I should probably cut it, get out. You know, you just got to be disciplined and say, hey, you know, I thought it was going up four weeks. Maybe it only gets three. If I'm stopped out, I'm stopped out. Take the profit, you know, take the money. There's nothing wrong with being a winner. <laughs> you know? It's like going to a casino. I've read several books on blackjack. This, <laughs> this one guy said, uh, uh, he was a professional gambler, and he said, if you leave with $1 of the casino's money, you cash out and leave with that in your pocket, and you get to your car in the parking lot, you are a winner. You left as a winner. He said, most people don't do that. Most people leave as a loser. You know, that's why all these expensive casinos in Las Vegas are built, you know, because literally, you know, that town's built on losers. Uh, what they say in that one movie, uh, Las Vegas is built on, uh, uh, what was it? 
a little, uh, little bit of sand, uh, some broken dreams, and some five dollar lobster. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that was a dodgeball movie. <laughs> oh, man, that movie cracks me up, bro. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, I don't want to carry on and get into movie quotes, but so just keep keep an eye keep an eye on your stop losses, your trailing stops. That's that's what I've been taught how to use it. Um, you know, ideally you need an alert on TradingView to send you a text message when, if it does, you know, go below that, it'll send you a text message and say, hey, you need to pay attention to this. So get that set up. Um, <clears throat> I wish I could remember how to set up your, your, te your phone for your text message. I think probably when you're, when you're establishing your portfolio, when you're establishing your account, uh, through, uh, um, trading view uh, somewhere it lets you uh, put in your phone number for text message alerts I have no idea where it's at probably in settings maybe uh, I don't know somewhere in here here's email you can do email uh, I really don't want to uh, show my cell phone just in case <laughs> yeah, in case this, this video goes viral or something I don't want you know a million people having my phone number but it's on here somewhere just look in your profile you can find it um, somebody's probably got a video on it on YouTube or some, some six-year-old's got a video on YouTube to show you how to do it I'm sure but uh, just remember go to super charts to get back to your charts and then of course I got my, my watch list you know set up here pretty good uh, I really don't need I like to shrink that down I, you know I, I like to have my charts you know, where I can see you know see the big picture you know a lot of times you'll zoom out you know as day traders we get we get stuck on a one hour or 15 minute chart and you, you can get what do they, what do they say? Uh, you miss the forest for the trees. You know, so they, when in doubt, they always say zoom out, you know, get into a higher time frame and, uh, you know, see what's going on, you know, weekly, monthly. I very seldom go to a monthly. I, I need to get in a better habit of, of looking at a monthly chart on a lot of stuff, you know. I mean, you, you go to a monthly, back this thing up where it was, you know, in 21. I mean, this thing could go up. Man, this thing almost hit two thousand dollars a coin. I mean, a high of nineteen twenty-four. I mean, you had, had a hundred bucks today, one hundred three. This could go up. Whoo, man, that'd be sweet. I mean, look at this thing went up eighty-five percent in a month. There's a hundred percent, pretty much. I mean, dude, there's a hundred percent. 234% off the bottom. <laughs> this, is, this is July of 21. Holy cow, man. I didn't even know it existed, bro. Forget it. That thing's, thing's a beast. When it gets hot, this thing is going, man. I, you know, I know they're gaming related, crypto gaming related. I, you know, apparently they, they're making some money, I guess. I have no idea what they do. Uh, I probably should research them, but you know, all I care about is the chart goes up. <laughs> as long as we got green candlesticks and then the number counts going up uh, on a weekly, at least a weekly basis, uh, I, I could care less what they do. I, you know, as long as it goes up and my my number on my account goes up daily, that's that's all that matters. But anyway, I might, I'll cut this video. It's probably not short. It probably I probably rambled on for close to an hour. But anyway, so we'll catch y'all on the next one. Hope this helps you. Hey, if you don't mind, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I got 412, I think. I don't know. I may do some kind of giveaway um, if I hit 500 subscribers or something. But um, I don't know. I'll think. I'll think it over. See, see what kind of giveaway I could I could do. Um, yeah, if you want me to 
chart something for you or, you know, look something up, you know, just put, put it in the comments, you know, um, if you have any, any questions or any concerns or whatever, just put it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it best I can. So we'll catch y'all on the next one.